welcome guys to the Miami Bro channel. So today I um, was planning on doing a little how to do video. I have a Tahoe 2150 and uh, I searched online. I uh, YouTubed for videos to show me how to uh, replace and fix uh, my uh, navigation lights. And I found absolutely none. <laughs> so I decided to make my own video. I bought my own uh, navigation lights, which are the ones that are off the market, which are not the ones that fit this boat. The ones that come with this boat, quite frankly, are not that good. Although they are LED lights, for whatever reason, um, they got damaged, they got water in them, and they fused. And I've had the boat for uh, less than a year and a half. Uh, so that says a lot. Um, I'll show you right now in, um, in quite a few minutes. Uh, what i'm talking about and hopefully we can get this fixed and this video would uh help somebody else out there that perhaps has the same boat a tahoe and uh they run into the same type of scenario or issue and this video could um kind of guide you to know how to fix it all right stay tuned all right so these are the lights that come with factory as you can see they are really really small um the rubber part in the bottom is not that good as you can see whenever uh, water gets up here it just basically stays there and, uh, the, and let me try to show you from this angle bottom here that fused my lights is the fact that uh, the lights is really small this this is the this little right here hole is the light so i mean really not not a lot of light was coming out in the first place and the way that this thing uh was created or done or manufactured whatever i think is very faulty um because uh water does leak inside and definitely as you can see i don't know if you can see it here it damaged the inside so the led lights blew out or fused whatever you want to call them and so i am planning to replace this whole little set with a different type of light okay all right so these are the lights that i i bought and are the ones that i am planning on replacing those small ones with uh, they are a bit bigger it seems that um they will bright light up even more because of the size of the glass the size of the bulb inside you see how this is open it is a little bulkier, but um, I found it online, and I think that I think this will resolve my problem. As you can see, the comparison of one and the other, it is bulky on top, but it, for me, in this case, for my towel hole, it doesn't really matter because it's on the edge of the boat, and on the edge of the boat, I have this little slope here, so it should not matter. And let's see, uh, let's see if I could uh, figure this out. Okay, so to do this job. It's recommended to buy these uh, Bud Splice waterproofs. You uh, crimp and heat shrinks. That way, um, when you put the uh, wires in on both sides, you also buy one of these things right here, wire cutter, and you go ahead and uh, use this end up here to go ahead and uh, tie it up. I did one already. These are the wires recommended to try to buy um, waterproof wiring. You put it in one piece here and you apply heat on this end right here and it becomes waterproof on this end um, that is uh, highly recommended and like I said try to buy waterproof wiring get one of these little fancy barbecues uh, lighters and that's how you uh, shrink wrap them all right so pretty much you apply one end you you know it's wire you strip the wire first you apply this inside as so until it goes as further as possible it will stop eventually because there's a little mid section here it will stop there then you go ahead and you use this little tool right here and you squeeze it depending on the size that you buy you squeeze there tight and once you squeeze it you basically apply heat to the other end and you can see it here apply heat to this, this end right here 
And little by little, this will start shrinking. And it starts hugging the wire. As you can see, I did that right there. I'm gonna do this side over here. And then it closes. And sorry for the little sniffling, that's my son who's recording and he has, <laughs> he has a little cold. And just keep burning it until you see that the whole entire piece pretty much gets sealed as you can see right there and just let it dry for a bit and the other end is when you apply the other wire in and you do the same the same thing and then do that and there you go and that way it is waterproof and water will not go inside let's see how this process goes <clears throat> First, we need to remove this, and as soon as I do, you guys will see that this thing is all rusted in the bottom, and the little plastic piece down here got messed up as well. There it goes tiny little screw now let's see if this comes out now there it goes see so as you can see the whole entire thing got corroded out you see corroded water got in there a bunch of crap happened okay so let's continue with this little process here take these screws out once again I try to find videos on how to replace this on my Tahoe 2150. I found no videos at all. So I am doing this blindly. Hopefully it works out. Hopefully I, I am able to fix this light problem. And you guys will see my step-by-step -step process on how I'm doing this. So there it goes. Here goes the last one. The last little screw. And this cable, as you can see, it's very short. Super short. Um, and that this right here is why I decided to get this little fancy little thing here. So I'll be able to reach the cable. From the opening end on this side that i have a hole here i'll be able to grab it through here and i'll be able to pull it out in case i lose the cable um so that's what i'm planning on doing um i bought some extra wires and i've already um put these little things attached to them because I definitely want to extend that wire that's there because it's too short. So I guess my next my next step that I gotta do is I gotta find that cable. I gotta find that cable and pull it out. Is that why this thing is not that long? See this? super short and if I cut it here for me to place these connectors there it's really really short well it's the only way to figure out how to do this it's by actually doing it right If I let go of this, I'm gonna have to fish it out of the inside. All right, so this is when I realized, you see this little cable that's right there? 
that directs itself to that little opening that is that right there <laughs> is the cable that goes directly to my uh to my light it gives me absolutely no slack to pull out over here so i'm gonna decide whether i want to work off of there or just let the wire fall down pull the wire back out to this side and just work from it from here and then fish it back out through the hole i'm gonna see what, what is actually the easiest process for this so um, maybe this is not the brightest way to do it oh the problem was is that i couldn't i couldn't find a way to cut to cut this so i got a knife try to see if i could um slice this <laughs> Oof, there it goes. There it goes, and I almost lost it. Perfect. Okay, perfect so now i have this extra wire to play with i'm gonna keep this here still there just in case i mean it shouldn't matter but now i want to get the the lights and uh try it out all right so apparently my gopro battery ran out so i'm gonna continue recording this with my phone it's still 4k um but i completed the one light right here you guys can see it's on it looks really nice it actually looks brighter than this small one that comes from factory you can see how it got all messed up look at that water got in there and the amount of light that this was actually showing i mean i don't understand why the manufacturers even installed this tiny tiny little light um it was completely useless <laughs> this is bad manufacturing for tahoe that's that's all i gotta say um so i'm gonna go ahead and now and install that onto here and uh by doing so as you can see here i already have um two little holes but those are not even gonna apply to what i'm trying to do because th this one right here has three 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 holes so in the next clip which I will show you now, um, I should have it in installed already. What I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna drill, I'm gonna first mark, mark those three holes to be exact. I'm gonna drill first with a small little drill in order to then fit the proper screws in there. And uh, it should work out. So let's see. <laughs> 